we study about the microcontroller so microcontroller is a functional computer system on chip so in a single chip it contain the all parts all essential part of a computers so that's why uh, it's also called uh, a micro computer also so a microcontroller contain like processor memory programmable input outputs peripherals into a single chip so microcontroller includes an integrated cpu memory a small amount of ram program memory or the both ram and uh, program memory and the peripherals capable of input and outputs they are designed uh, so that you can directly use that peripherals in many cases when there are large requirement of power the microcontroller not capable to provide the huge amount of power its power range up to the 50 milliamperes which is very uh, less or it depends on uh, microcontroller to microcontroller because it's designed for control not for a power source that's why when you drive a motor using a microcontroller you require a motor driver why motor driver is required because the motor required huge amount of power and that power is not uh, drawn from the microcontroller in generally the motor required a uh, 1 ampere current and the microcontroller provide a milliampere current so like that so that's why uh, a intermediate circuit is required which we call the driver circuit and that driver circuit is controlled by the microcontroller The various microcontrollers are uh, like 8031, 8032, generally we use the 8051, 8052, even 89C51, like that. Peak uh, is 8 bit peak, peak 16, peak 18, these are the 8 bit peak. Okay, so peak 16 is 8 bit not com confused with 16 bit so 8 bit peripheral interface controller is peak 16 and peak 18 these are the number not the bit okay and the 16 bit is DSP IC 33 peak 24 peak 16 CFX like that and the Motorola also uh, developed the microcontroller which is MC68HC11 so these are the number we are not bothered about the number but uh, you remember that the 8 is basically of coming from the Intel 8031 8032 8090 
These are the all Intel microcontroller. And the peak is uh, 8 bit and 16 bits. Uh, actually, these are all the 8 bit microcontroller. And the peak are generally 8 bit and the 16 bit. These are the microcontroller. So we already differentiate between the microprocessor and microcontroller. Let's go through the details uh, differentiations. The functional blocks are ALU, a register, timer, and the different control units. Whereas the microcontroller includes all with parallel I/O, RAM, EPROM, ADC, and DAC. So in case of microprocessor, you have to use as a separate chip, but whereas the in microcontrollers, the all are given here. The bit handling instruction is less, one or two type only, and whereas the microcontroller bit handling instructions are many. So the rapid movement of code and data between the external memory and the purpose in case of the microprocessor. In case of microcontroller, the rapid movements of code and data with microcontroller is possible. So microprocessor, it is used for design the general purpose digital computer systems, whereas the microcontrollers, they are used for designing application specific and dedicated system. Now we talk about the embedded processor. The embedded processors are special microprocessor and the microcontrollers. It's actually uh, used for fast processing and fast context switching and atomic ALU operations are needed. In previous case, we uh, severally give you the uh, example that it executes the one by one task. But this uh, processor are able to execute as a so fast and their context switching is available. If you consider the ATM machine, look at that machine, it gives you the step by step instructions and by using a single ATM card, you can do the multiple of operations. So these are a special embedded processor. The example of embedded processor are ARM7, Intel i960, AMD, then Intel Galileo like that all are embedded processor. The another processor is the digital signal processor uh, is abbreviated as DSP processor. So all of you know about the different operations, various operations which are used in digital signal processor subject, digital signal processing. We call it DSP. So to execute such type of operations, basically uh, a huge number of calculations are there. So when you multiply a matrix with another matrix, a huge operations are required. 
these type of operations are used for image processing audio processing and the different communication systems so basically the dsp is capable to handle large number of applications the another advantage of the dsp processor its computational capabilities including the microprocessor and the different uh, mac system and it's the system is very fast and so quick that this type of operations only possible by using dsp micro uh, dsp processor the example of dsp processor is tms 320 cxx sats motorola in our laboratory all processors are available but uh, due to the situation we will conduct the practical for you and we hope that in later case you will uh, do that all practicals once you are available in our institute so in case of application specific system processor is dedicated to specific tasks and provide the faster solution so and assp is used as an additional processing unit for running the application in place of the embedded software so these are all the all dedicated processor for a uh, specific applications the example is i am 7100w31000a like that and the another is multi processor system using the general purpose system the multiple processor are used when a single processor does not meet the need of different tasks the operation of all processor are synchronized to obtain an optimum performance so we stop here now 